let's go. How cool is that video, guys? I did not make it. That is um, a rebel um, made video. I think Herring Sword made it. Um, who um, used to be very um, active in rebel lately. He's been more doing more Formula One stuff. Um, but yeah, that's our Challenges Cup intro video for Rebel, um, which is an eternal Blood Bowl League, um, which I will put, why don't we put the little sign up widget on, actually since we've got a Rebel Challenges Cup game, sign ups for new season open now, um, if I can find it, I don't know where the widget is, where's my widget, oh, hey, Rebel sign up widget, <laughs> um, so this is a requiem for Meiji. We have had an unreal season. We were Rebel stunty champions. We kicked some butt. We've chopped up chorfs. We've chopped up um what else have we chopped up? We chopped up chorfs a couple of times. Uh some Norse, some humans, some what are these guys? Are those we humans? Uh can't remember who else we chopped up. We definitely got smashed about by some dwarfs. Some other goblins, some ogres, some skaven. Then we also got hammered by some skaven. We've had some really um, one-sided losses, but we've had some great wins along the way. We've got a couple of superstar goblins. We've got a couple of the real superstar goblins who've got dirty player. We've got a chainsaw that I gave leap after my last, um, uh, before my last game. And on the advice of some crazy goblins in the Goblin Town Discord. Um, and I didn't get to use it against Chaos Wolves in the last round. We had an epic first round of Challengers Cup against the Unstoppables. We won 2 1 in overtime after sending a lot of Chaos Dwarfs to the injury box, which was a good time. Um, we are up against, I think, an even tougher challenge this round. Um, in the humans, oh, they're already sent the invite. I'll accept in a second. I want to show you guys team quickly. These humans are pretty scary for goblins. They've got three tackle players, um, one of which can get anywhere, one of which has POM, the other one also has tackle mighty bow. There's another mighty bow here as well. We've got, um, some catch I mean not I'm not so bothered about that that's just speedy guys who can run around this but this this is a scary collective and um, I think this is going to be really really tough and um, this team came from uh, the European division three we're coming from we were a fresh team so we started in division five in the um, big O conference the Oceania conference I'm not in Oceania but I play in that conference because I have odd hours um so Look, it's an uphill battle, but every game is an uphill battle for goblins, and uh, we're going to have some fun. In we go to inducements. The thing is, this is a free hit for us now, because we've already gone further than we were supposed to. We Winning Stunty Cup was already the, the main goal for the season, so that qualified as a Challengers Cup because we were the top Stunty team. I didn't expect to go through any rounds, so the fact that we won the first round... Um, was already well above my expectations. So Ripper is definitely coming with us for this game. And I'm a big fan of Fungus because that gives us two balls and chains on the pitch. And then the obvious place to finish after that for Goblins is one, two, three. Three bribes. Um, so that is in total 500,000 in inducements we spend. Um, so we've got... with. Fungus and Ripper, that gives us a 16 player roster. We're going to have two balls and chains and a chainsaw. Um, only one diving tackle. We had more than that before, but some of them died. But yeah, it's all about these guys and these guys, really. And um, and then the trolls I didn't even mention. We've got one with guard and one with um, break tackle. Nothing fun on the, um, on the trolls, sadly. I'd love to get a double on a troll for some block or pro, but... Thanks, Fear Monkey. Also, guys, um, this is a Rebel um, postseason game. Rebel postseason has very strict rules on no backseating. So please, please, please do not try to tell me plays um, 
you can comment on things after they've happened but please don't try and tell me like oh did you think about this or do you think about that to give me different ideas because that is strictly not allowed i probably won't see it anyway because i do tend to look at chat less during these games because i'm concentrating but nevertheless please do and um, try not to do that for me if you can Thanks, Martin. I'm so hyped about this game. This feels like it's like um, my favorite kind of game where it's like, I expect to lose, but you know, we've got a sneaky plan. We'll see if we can pull something off. It's all upside from here. If we get a result, it's a win. If not, oh man, we've lost the coin toss both times in the playoffs and that's bad news for us. Okay. well. We'll do something similar to what we did in the last game, which worked out. Um, we're not going to do exactly the same thing. Got the fame, that's nice. Um, because, unfortunately, humans are much faster than Chaos Dwarfs. But a similar strategy, I think, for this one. Um, keep the chainsaw on. Take at least one of the fanatics off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Got far enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's not. At least one more further back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do one more again after that. Or... Just down the line. One, two, Four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna do a GFI. I think I think that's where we draw the line. I think that's where we draw the line. We say, okay, if you want it enough to come do the GFI, come do it. And then we'll punish you for it, hopefully. Okay, we we'll take um, at least one of the IG4 ones off, maybe both, I'm not sure. Um, sort you out. So last time my thinking was that you keep one of the IG4 on just in case you can somehow get that ball free. It ends up not doing anything and I wondered if it was better to have both dirty players on. But actually no, I think it's still worth having one on. Because I think having one on just means that if um, if um, they get lax or something and the uh, leap chainsaw gets the ball free we've got the option to go after it but otherwise the initial plan is just two three four five six one two three four five six seven we've got to do one gfi to there i think that's what we do it. i think that's what we do it. this way the thinking here is if anyone's curious um you're saying either you don't blitz us here or you stretch yourself out so much trying to blitz us that um, we're going to get a good foul on someone. Is the broad idea. Um, going on defence first with goblins is really definitely not what you want. We would much prefer to have been on offence first. Um, and that's been both games in, in Challengers Cup. Unfortunately, we've lost the coin toss. But we did win the overtime coin toss, um, which was obviously very important last time. So we'll see. I do wonder if I would have played this a bit differently if the um, opponent had some dirty player, but they don't, um, so I am still a bit scared about the line because they could just remove these trolls, but um, something has to go on the line and the trolls are the best at not getting removed, so... Oh my goodness. 
Oh, oh, they've got a no pitch invasion stadium. That's actually good for us. I hate the pitch invasion with goblins because it ends up hurting the ball and chain. Rick Reckless, how are you, Rick? And hey, everybody, you've arrived just in time for a goblin game in Rebel Challengers Cup. We're in round two because we knocked out some chorfs in round one. Somehow we beat chorfs with goblins. Um, we are very much expecting to lose um, to these humans who have all sorts of tackle mighty bow to curse with. Um, but here we are. Um, for everyone just coming in, this is a strict no back seating game, please. Um, Rebel has some rules against that, so um, please, please, please don't try to backseat or I can get in trouble. Um, unfortunately, we have just lost the coin toss, so we're on defence, um, and our goblins are heroically hiding back here while um, the trolls um, hopefully just get knocked down and don't get in too much trouble up here. Fingers crossed. How was your stream this morning, Rick? Hope your new season is off to a good start. Oh, that's nice. Could be a free hit there, depending what happens here. This ogre is niggled. It's got block and sand firm, so it's kind of a big pain to deal with, but it is niggled, so if we can get it on the floor, and we can stick the boot into it. Good things can happen. Oh, you were doing Storybook Brawl. I saw. I, I don't know why I forgot that. I did see you were doing Storybook Brawl. Oh, how's the tawny going? Oh, you crashed out earlier. Okay. Well, congratulations for getting in. I've gone to the, the tournament twice now, I think. And they've both been... I, I'm just nowhere near good enough to be in the tournament. Like... <laughs> The players in the tournament are so much better than me. They just all have like actual strategies. I'm they're just trying to muddle through being like, mm, I think I'll take this card. Now this is a scary hit because Ripper obviously can't be outboed. And that is Palm, that's an actual armor break they're going to pile on. That's what I'm looking to see. I will foul you. I will foul you so hard. That is that is getting stomped on. Dirty player is in range. Get him. All right, or we'll foul this ogre if you want me to. With its niggle. Someone's going to die for that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, wow. They're... they're fully committing to protecting anyway the good thing is that Ripper didn't get hurt well this could fall down that'd be great too okay so they're protecting their um, protecting their prize there so we have to be a bit careful here because that can then uh, get up and hurt us um, I am definitely thinking we could chainsaw this one in the face Stupid human catchers have got armor 8, which makes it a bit scarier. We have to be a bit careful here, because this is exactly the brawl we were trying not to get involved in. So there's a case for not overcommitting to this and actually just letting it be. Um... I'm a bit worried about getting fungus too close to their, um, their ogre as well. I mean, that is a pretty nice chainsaw target, though. Let's try and make a cautious advance with fungus, I think. Right, that's going the wrong way. Fine. <laughs> Good job, Fungus. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you'd be like there, but... Instead. Are we chainsawing this or not? Or are we just staying back here like cowards? Let them hit this oak. Let them hit this troll. Where's their next tackle, Mighty Bow? There. That can't hit us right now. There. So the Pommel would only be able to hit this. Could take the arm out just without any help. 
I think we're doing this the cowardly way for now. Cowardly way worked really well for us against the chorf, so I think we're staying cowardly for now. Let them come to us. Fine. We'll pick our moment. We'll pick our moment to throw that saw in there. Don't worry, the saw is the saw is is not is not forgotten about. It's just picking its moment. Cowards! Yes! <laughs> Get him. We will, Frosty, we will. This chainsaw has leap, you see, so I don't want to lose it too soon because it's like this ridiculous theoretical threat to their cage. Whether or not I would ever actually leave that chainsaw in is a very different question. <laughs> um, but in theory, it's possible. You've got to make them think you could. I assume they're going to pull on this one. But yeah. We're back here for a reason. It's to try to stretch them out, so. CFL. Stay here or they'll come here. Don't give them easy moves. They're not going to pull on this one. Now that that's gone stupid, they might just move away from it. What we learned against the Chorfs was sometimes it's good enough just to stay around with goblins for a while. You lose the first half, you start the murder train, and hopefully by the end of the game you've overtaken them in the murder. That's how it worked out last round. Whether or not we can do it again, different question, but that's how we got through the first one. It was very, very hard not to go and commit to that last one, because I would have liked to hit that, but... There will be other pieces I want to hit. What are these subti- what, what, where are you seeing subtitles? I don't- I'm not subtitled. Are there subtitles? I'm going crazy with this subtitle talk. Are they going to foul Ripper? Who could they foul with? They haven't got, like, they're such a good human team. They haven't even got pieces that are good for fouling, really. They've got wrestle pieces. And then that one there, I guess. Okay. So what I think we want to do now is to put with Ripper, so we can get Ripper up and use them to provide an assist to get another one up. Good. Come on, Ripper. Kill it. Oh, nearly. I mean, not that nearly. We broke armor. <laughs> oh, I really wanted a GFI. Then get you up. Which if I actually be better. This having block is really a pain though. So in fact probably that way is better. Cool. Alright, now they've got to think about this situation a bit. Uh, do we go all the way on this? Maybe? So like we could first ring two. So if you want to come over here and pommes, the nice thing would be to be over this side, really. That is very helpful, Fungus. That's the way I want you to go. Oh, Fungus, for once, doing what you want them to do. Absolute champion. Perfect, Fungus. I mean, not perfect, actually. Probably like that would be better, but pretty good. Um, okay. I 
I know this is slow burn. I know it's not as fun as some people want to see goblins just throwing everything straight into the fire. But there is logic here. There is there is method to my madness. Where are you going? As a method to my madness. Um, I'm trying to trap some... I'm trying to trap some players that I want to murder. And let them run off with the ball. But they're actually engaging, so that's interesting. This ogre is definitely going to be a, a pain in my bum. That I can see very plainly. So the, the, the Chorf team, um, we were able to just separate off like three players over here and just foul them mercilessly. And they took the whole rest of their team over here. This team is trying to be a bit more, um, split their options, I guess, to bring some players over to the fight. Um, but that creates options too, because then we can try and run the chainsaw and some goblins over here instead of just staying here and fouling. So we'll see how this turn ends up before we decide what happens next. This is the movement six one, isn't it? I think they're going to have to leave. If they want to hit here, they're going to have to leave something reasonably high value near us, which is what we want. That's nice. Can get another hit there, but no knock down there is certainly nice. Right, we're on turn three and none of the good guys are dead yet. As long as you accept there's some madness in the method. <laughs> there's definitely some madness as well. I mean, I'm playing goblins, so the madness is, is very clear. It's clear from step one. Yeah, you don't put that too close to the chainsaw, otherwise things will happen. Okay, no tackle on that one. But they'll follow the... Only thing with this is they follow the guard up. They didn't. They could have had two dice on a dirty player, which would not have been fun. Okay, so there's a lot of humans here now. Oh, that's rude. That is rude. That is a one dice I could have lived without them making. I mean, it's a pretty decent one dice to take, because you've got block. But I still hate it. For me. I hate it selfishly for me. So, we have a ripper hit on the ogre, which is niggle, which is nice. Um, we've got various things that could happen over here. Um, what can we do with getting one more in there? I'd love to be able to get a fungus somewhere useful, but things are a bit too much in the way at the moment. The Ripper here would be an amazing place to start, but it's a bit scary. It's a lot scary. If we could bring a chainsaw in there on that, that would also be great. Really do with one assist to get that troll up. I'm also not here to get this troll up. At least that would be something. Get you into the action. Um. Oh man, if we can get that push, that could go there. I just wish I could get... Well, I suppose I can if I blitz there, can't I? If I blitz that one away, then some really fun stuff could happen. Problem is, goblins are strength too, so getting that blitz is really hard. Because <laughs> if I can even just like get a push here, push there, we get the push onto the chainsaw, and we have a free chainsaw on that one. 
but it's a one dice. Unless I throw in fungus first and see what happens. Okay, that's fine, actually. Now, this is not the favourite spot because we really need to not hit you, so we've kind of got to come down. Fine. Uh, it's not going the way we want it to. But we'll come back up. At least now we freed you up to get up. Um, I've got to take this. No, I wish I'd taken it first. Okay, good. That worked out. That's good. Now we try this one. Good. Good things are happening. Someone's getting stumped on. I haven't decided who yet. Probably this one, to be honest. Oh, sugar. That's the... I think I'll do it first now. Damn it. I forgot to check that dirty player. All right, we'll do this now then. That's a badly planned move. Fine. At least it's stunned. Uh, fine. Push in there. Stay. And... That's not getting up, so that's fine. Oh, I really would have liked to do that foul last and have got to for it, but... You're over there. I need to get you definitely on the safe side of things. That's quite fun, isn't it? Slip, dive, and tap in the next to the trial. See how that works out. Okay, that was not my best turn. Um, Bonehead is great, so you're still bound to be fouled next turn if you want to. That's a really good Bonehead. Oh my goodness, I missed that at the back, so you can hit the chainsaw. Oh well. Chainsaw's not the most important, but it's definitely a shame. It's stupid. Gave it up too freely. Okay, bye bye, chainsaw. Ugh, I don't know why I didn't think about that. But I didn't. A chainsaw is like a fun notional threat, because it's a threat on the ball if you ever bring it over, but, um. Oh, they're just scoring. Huh. All right, then. I felt like at that point they were not going to score, but they were going to get some big fouls, so. I mean, I would not have kept the chainsaw after the first one anyway. I will spend a bride to eat fungus, because um, it's so early in the half now that I can have them on this um, offensive drive. It's very nice. So that is fungus. Good. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. We've got five turns. Um, I would have liked to get some murder going, but we will try and get some murder going on our offensive drive. It's really interesting because, like, yeah, they definitely were not under pressure to score. But I guess they were just worried about some of the players they had stuck over here. I mean, the Niggle Loga was definitely a big target for the next turn, so. Interesting. And they have got all of these tackle Mighty Bow players still around. So we're still, we're still scared. We're still goblins. We're still at risk of being very quickly wiped out. But. We're going to have some fun now because it's our offensive drive. We're going to put both balls and chains on, even though I probably shouldn't. Probably should keep one back for the second half. We've got two brides. This is the short drive, so I think you go all in on it. Try to win the short drive. Speedier one further back. And 
Let's get some dirty players behind. Yeah, so the balls and chains both have two out of three good squares for hitting things. I don't want square further forward. Okay. See what happens. Rewards for everyone. Okay, do the one that's rusted first because we can use rerolls on it. Just a push that's sand. And then we come back down. Oh, didn't expect to hit there. Happy that we did. Nice. Come on, Fungus, use that mighty bow. Did not use the mighty bow. Come on, Fungus. Nice. Just a stun. All right. Um, well, we hit everything on the line. We didn't hurt anything, which is a bit sad. But we can do a nice foul here. Um... And where are we going to blitz? It was a greedy blitz on the ogre just because it's such a big piece, but I think we don't do that. I um, think maybe we go for that one. We do need to protect the um, fanatic though, because of that. Um, especially because of that ogre, actually. Go Ripper. Okay. Who's this one here? Yeah, go on. Base that up. Not killing anything yet is sad. But we will stomp on someone. I guess this one. I have to be a little bit careful there. Can't hit us though. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we've got to... Got to start stomping, don't we? Got to try to get some removals going. We haven't got any removals yet, which I'm a bit sad about. Because this is Rebel, we've got to do the customary run-up. Good. One. Start the count. One down. Eleven to go. Just eleven more opponents left. I choose violence. I do choose violence. <laughs> I do. That's exactly what I'm doing. Not enough murder. Um. All right, good. I feel better now. We're beginning to feel genuinely a bit like we're going to lose this if we don't start removing things soon. So getting at least one removal makes me feel a bit more like, okay, there's a way here. I can get one dice on this. I can get one dice on that with the um, ogre. It's a fair amount of commitment though. Could also just red dice it, you got block, but 
It's a red dice without a reroll because it's an ogre. Looks like they're going to go for it. I did wonder if they would. As soon as I failed that really stupid, I thought I can't protect this as well as I want to. So yeah, one dice from the ogre from the front. But it means you leave that next to my troll. And you leave this one on the diving tackle. Oh, you can make it two dice. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see that as well. And you're going to leave us room to run up this sideline. Which we will take. But you are probably going to get rid of Angus. We have to be pretty lucky here for fungus to live. We are not lucky. How many turns have we got? Four turns. Boo. Yeah, that stupid sort did it. I did think as soon as that stupid went, I thought, am I going to, be, going to be able to protect this properly? Could still come back. Could still come back. So not necessarily done. But yeah, they've given us they've given us a lot of space to work with. To make that happen. So I'm not totally not totally um bummed about it. Obviously it's not great. Like you'd prefer to keep them around, but they've also left this one out on a limb. I guess they're gonna have to dodge it off. Because you don't just leave that base on Ripper. I'll reroll that. Yeah, too important. Oh, very nice. Oh, we want to foul that one a lot. <laughs> we want to foul that one a lot. Um, right, ball. Where's the ball going to go? Um, do we take this ripper hit? Or is that just going to fail and sidestep and... Um, reduce the quality of my foul. We need to keep the ball safe while doing this foul, that's the thing. So the ball's got to get to like here. We can just leave that fanatic there and we've got a corner. We can cover this side easily. We really need to make sure we're going to get enough cysts up there to do that foul. If we're going to do it, and I think we do want to do it. Not, I think. I mean, very obviously we do want to do it. I think we've got to try that bit more, haven't we? For three guys. It's the best bits we're going to get. Okay, didn't work out. Don't really lose nothing this way. Oh, we've got crab. Oh, we, we really don't lose nothing then. Forgot we had crab. Okay, that's pretty nice. So we're not going to get as many assists as I want on this file, but we're going to get some. Let me try and dodge this first to try and get the first one. Okay, yeah, that makes me feel better about the rest of what I do because then I put this one here. And. This really needs to break armor for sure, though. Big foul. Really important foul. At least break armor, please. Okay, break armor. Okay, yeah. okay, could be better, but dirty player did a thing. Uh, ball's reasonably safe. Got this goblin here on tackle. Do we try to dodge that to here so we've got an assist? Or do we just take this hit, see if we wake up, and then dodge? I think we do it this way. See if we get lucky here. We don't. And then we try and dodge you. Is that worth a reroll? Yeah, we got four, so it definitely is. Good. 
so we've now got the ball on the other side of them we've got some players in the way we've got rid of their most scary player they've still got some pretty scary ones it's okay it's going okay it's okay could always be better but it's going okay I wonder if they'll go after the other Fnatic now if they just give up the touchdown but go after the Fnatic because you could do that but it, if you go after the Fnatic now, I think you're really going to leave so many players behind that scoring should be quite easy. No, they're not going to do that. They haven't got babes or anything, have they? So there's a chance that stays out now. There's at least a chance. This is way less violent than the game against the Chaos Dwarves. Against the Chaos Dwarves, we were able to, like, we already had at least two cards by now, I think. We were able to really get that sort of um, momentum going for us. Yeah, that's a nice target. That's a nice target. Fair enough. It's not Mighty Power Beast, but... Oh, this is not a perm. I think we have to, probably have to effort it regardless, yeah. Too important, too important having the IG4s around, so it's it's playoffs, you know, you just you um you use that apple and say, well if anything dies now it dies. They're goblins. But we want that player around in the second half, so that's a shame because that wasn't even a mighty for a head. Like but they are goblins, so that will happen. Getting to worry about, like, even if we score, can we do it on turn eight? Because I'm not confident. But we try. They've got a reroll for it. Oh, that's good. Get hurt? No. Um. So I think we want to. What do we want to do? Because of grab, we could put it this way and just come to the sideline. Or do we come through here? probably better isn't it move you up take our three dice there good Can we make the cage changes with the Fnatic? Depends on where it wants to go. It's looking like a no. Um, going up is the right thing to do, but if it hits that and knocks over, it's going to be a disaster. It does. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good job, Fnatic. Because now at least we've activated that. Well, that was a bit hairy, but it's kind of a cage now. Kind of. That's on tackles, so do that one last. This one wants to do a foul, so do that one second last. So we try and get up and go to here. Good. Stump, stump, stumpity stump. Okay, that is a send off. Possibly left to let that one go. It's quite late in the half. We still have another dirty player. 
means we can keep two bribes to think about keeping both fanatics around. I think we probably let that one go. We only had one other action on the turn as well, and it was a dodge off tackle, so. It's not going brilliantly, but it's going okay. It could definitely be going better, but it could definitely be going worse. We're in scoring range on an Agi 4 Goblin, and we have a reroll for each turn, so. Reasonably good chance of getting that in. Um, obviously, we would much prefer now to score in turn 8 than turn 7 if that's possible, and that might get tricky because we are beginning to run out of players in this drive. Because I, I imagine these humans can one turn. We can make it reasonably hard with trolls in the line, I guess, just because the strength of them. And um, they've got got one edgy, fault, edgy 4 movement 8 there, haven't they? It has got dodge as well, yeah. Okay, so not going for the ball, they are going for our dirty player, which makes sense. We could have no dirty players next half, that goes off. Which is a concern. It's not Mighty Bear again. Last time they hit us out Mighty Bear, it did the job anyway. Oh man, so we've got no we've got no dirty players next half. That's really unlucky. That's two hits with my, without Mighty Bell on the, on the Agi 4 and then the two and the Dirty Player and they both went off. That's actually really unlucky. But um Yeah, that's that really hurts us a lot, having no Dirty Player for the second half. Now I wish of course I'd use the um apple or the bribe on the other one. But you can't you can't always um predict the bum dice, can you? We need some good luck, Crystal. I don't think we've been very lucky um, with uh, these removals the last couple of turns. See if that, that has got Mighty Bow. Reverse those, put them the other way around, and then we're suddenly in a very different position. Ugh, no, no fouling power in the second half is going to be really bad. Um, I think we have to try to see if we can sort this out for another turn, but I'm not confident, unfortunately. That's made it much harder already. Um... Yeah, we've got a score, I think. We haven't got enough here. If we don't score here... Oh, it's even worse now, because the... How many have we got off? Three. So... Will I be able to put the balls and chains on the side? I might. Because if we don't score here, all we can do is put this here. And we're relying on not rolling a 1 in 9 there. And they still have a way to hit us around there. I think we just got to score. You just got to score. Anything else is, is risks blowing the score and that's too bad. That's a bad drive. <laughs> As, yeah, it's, we really needed that to go better. Um, better to score than not score, but um, I'm both staying out's good for now. That's a tricky one to know about whether um, I um, I think now the dirty player's gone. I might as well just use them, use both these bribes and keep the balls and chains. I think I have enough players to leave them off. I think. Oh shit, I don't even have to take one off. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, we've only got one. The other one's there. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, we do. We're alright. We're alright. Okay, so trolls on the line. And then, yeah. I think it's backline. I think it's backline against the humans. And please, no riot. There is no riot. Okay, that's good. They can't get a riot because they've got the stadium. That's their stadium. 
All right, listen, I've been a bit pessimistic the last bit because I'm really sad about losing my fouling pieces, but there's a world here where we don't take damage. That's a scary bit. These don't come back. That does come back and things could be okay. There's a world. There's a world where, that can where all that happens. Let's try to live in that world. Let's try. Let's hope. Yeah, turning score would have been so much better space, but I just couldn't risk it. Like, the dice I had to roll because of the way the removals went, the dice I had to roll to keep, um, to keep, um, to, to make that ball safe on turn eight was just too risky, I think. I think it was much better to have the touchdown in the bag. Even with all the sort of less good effects of that. The way it's worked out, you know, we, we still have a chance to have both those players in the second half. 50-50 to get this on. And um, there's at least a chance one of those days out. So we just got to hope. Doesn't look like they set up for a one turn. They did say in the chat they could don't know how to do them. So hopefully that's the truth. Hopefully. I'll start with a one dice. It's a little spicy. Not sure why that happened. I'm glad it did. Okay, that one goes down. Safe so far. Could foul them. They could foul them, but with both those KOs and no bench. Pretty spicy. They're trying to work out if they can get a blitz here and knock this down. I'm not certain they can anymore. Because that's strength six. Get a one dice here for sure. If you wanted that two dice, then. Hold on, Reaper. Oh, God, thank God. When that animation starts, it's a hairy moment. Approve opponents who don't or can't one turn. Just admit you lost. You don't try to cheat a touchdown just because the game is badly designed. <laughs> oh, they could get two dice there. I was wrong. Okay. Hang on, matey. My, your matey. All right. We got through it. So we're going to have 11 players in the second half. So that's already something. I have 12 even. Thanks, Michelle. So we're going to go into the second half at one all. Oh, I think it went there for a snake and it doesn't matter. I want you to do it when it does matter. Um, uh, what's our best option here? Run you up. Try and do it bits for you. Oh, that would have been better. We're taking GFIs. Because that's just such a nice target. Might as well. <laughs> Oh well, one's for everyone on turn eight. Uh, did the Fnatic wake up from KO and did their players wake up from KO? They're both really big. Oh, that's huge. They're both still out. And so is ours. Okay, well, the Fnatic could play in overtime. You never know. If we get to overtime. I think if you'd ask me, would you rather have fungus and they get theirs back? Or if you'd rather neither, I'd probably prefer it this way. Because that's just such a scary piece. Um, but obviously I would have preferred the greedy version, which is I get everything and they get nothing. Um, always the preferred option. No 
dirty players is a very sad time. No dirty players and no um, bribes left. It's a very sad time. But they start with nine, which is really nice. I'm sad that we didn't get to foul um, this ogre of theirs, which has a niggle, while we still had a dirty player around. It is twice the um, event has been cancelled by the stadium, getting their money's worth for that stadium. Okay, a bit less precision from the ball and chain this time. Um, set that up for a three dice. And real stupid. It's annoying. Give Ripper three dice over here. I think we have to eat that. That's not a good first turn. Not even an arm break. And we're going to lose the bottom chain here. Should have probably moved that up first. I was just thinking about I might blitz that. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. We're going to lose that. We're going to lose that ball and chain. It's really easy to hit now because that's stupid as well. That was a really bad line of scrimmage. <laughs> Goes without saying, but yeah, that was a really bad line of scrimmage. That went as bad as it could. Oh, maybe they're not hitting the ball and chain. At least the ball is far back. Okay. Yeah, they just want to go start trying to reduce our numbers. That makes sense too. I mean, that reduces numbers as well, obviously. If you get it off, it's automatic. Okay, not off. We'll take it. We'll take it. Every turn that we can keep 11 players on the pitch is going to be a victory. We need to be really careful next turn because if we get turned over, we are. I mean, if we get turned over, then we'll, we, we lose, don't we? So. And that's the risk. And that is why they're sending someone through right away. I think it's smart. Hopefully it fails a one in nine. Oh, they're not gonna do one in nine because they're gonna hit that first, obviously. Okay, not really much gain is good. Oh, they are selling the dodge, okay. Oh, because the bowling chain's there, of course. We did not fail the one in nine. Might be able to push you onto the troll. But yeah, this next turn's gonna be pretty hairy. This next turn is pretty scary. Pretty much whatever I do. I think they're playing this right. I think the the aggressive path here is the right one for them. I think it's yeah. I think they're making good decisions. It's just not good for me. Blitzing from here and then pushing you into there. That way we get another chance to get you from that one. One, two, three. You can go here. And then we've got one, two, three, four, puts you up. Because we really need to try and knock you over. But we give ourselves like three dice coming that way and another three dice coming down. Okay. Not the start we needed, but at least you're not um, 
least it wasn't um, as stupid. Really, we need to do this and get the ball in there. Unfortunately, still no knockdown, but at least we're jammed in between some trolls. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad. So bad. It's so bad. Um, hmm. What do I do now? Could try to cover that from that side instead of taking the GFIs. Put you there. And you there. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good because it makes the dodge out of that back harder. Okay, it's also pretty good. So now, yeah, you've got you can come around the back and do it, but you've got to do a four plus to start it off. Any of those got tackle? No. Scoring threat. That could just get around though, can't it? It's not really good enough. So there's only one dice with that one. Nothing else can get all the way around. Oh, I hadn't even, I hadn't even noticed this is diving tackle, so that's a really tough dodge from there then. <laughs> yeah, I just completely forgot my own DP. Okay, they're not... They might still be going for the ball. Oh, they might just be coming to mighty bear this one in the face. Three dice. Yeah, they're mighty bearing that one in the face. Three dice. Makes sense. In the face. Safe. So we got mauled by the one that doesn't have uh, mighty flow. But the one that does have mighty flow so far has been mercifully gentle. Oh my god, coupling games are hard. <laughs> Everything's so difficult and stressful. That's good. Alright, so do we dodge away two pluses or do we take a blitz there? I feel like we probably try and blitz there if we can. Everything feels so bad. <laughs> Goblins make life really hard sometimes. Alright, now I'll come this way then. So we're giving you the assist here. Um, when are we standing that up then? Make it a three dice. Okay, that's good. Discard one? No. I don't know if I then. Boo. Where is my safe space? I can't see it. I can't see anywhere safe, guys. I mean, that's kind of safe for now, but not for very long. Well, come forward. Trust in Ripper. 
Did that can go there. And if it clears that way. Good. Can we break some armor, please. Um. Still not very safe. Any of it. Oh boy. That makes it a lot less safe. I think I've got to try. Yeah. getting worse. Um. Okay, fine. Be that way. One reroll left for how many turns? <laughs> it's not going good. But... The ball is here for another turn. We're not dead yet. I feel like it's trending towards us being dead, but we're not dead yet. It's called Brav Rochelle. It's called Brav. All the team is called... Um, different words I could think of as like synonyms for friend because the team was made after my wood elf team died my wood elf team was um all like puns for tea and we had a player called matey who was our favorite player so when they died I thought I should name this team in honor of matey so it's all different ways of saying friend so we've got bruv we've got sis we've got um Mucker, we've got a cobber in there because um, I play with a lot of Aussies. We've got um, who else? We've got dude, mucker, partner, confidant, long supper, cuz. Who else is here? Compadre, chum. We've got some fun names. I, I couldn't see that goblin for a second there, and for a second I thought I just left a gap, but I haven't. They're just going to keep trying to hit the other agility four, which makes sense. I would much prefer that other agility four was not where it is, but. No. Once again, didn't kill us though, so that's good. Outcomes we can live with. Not dead. Snake here would be nice. Snake here, also fine. Neither of those is a snake. Um, I think we'll lead with fungus again because we might find um some somewhere to set up our new cage over here. Depending on what, not fungus. Um, fake fungus wants to do. Okay, well, that's not helpful. We're too close to teammates. Everything's a dilemma. Nothing is easy. The thing is, 
I don't want to take this block first before I move the ball. But then if I move the ball, I want to move this to cover it. But then if I move this to cover it, then we've got no one to help that act anymore. I guess we would do it with you eventually. useful at least. So now you can help to activate both of these hopefully. Actually, rather someone else did that really. Definitely prefer that was someone else's job. So let's bring you there. And we'll try and bring someone else to do it. Because at least then we've covered this for the meantime. Um, there's going to be some one in nine dodges here, aren't there? There just are. Nothing we can do to change that. Good. All right. Well, something. Now I think we can try this. And feel sad if it didn't work. Fine. Be that way. Where does everyone else go? Nice. Good. Um, God, I'm getting so tired. Goblins make you think. Okay, good dodges that turn. Four more turns. We're not making any forward progress at the moment. <laughs> the bit that's worrying me. We're not removing anything and we're not making any forward progress. So neither of those things is particularly good. But we haven't lost the ball yet. Um, I guess we've made a tiny bit of forward progress there, but that one's going to get hit. I'm pleased at least that there's currently two players on the wrong side of um, Ripper. Like Ripper's tied up, but he's got two players on them make them do some dodges, it's something. Opponent is really focusing on getting three dice box, which is smart. Okay. That's good. We've got the ogre hit cell to come here. And then they've got those dodges in the back. is such a grind. <laughs> Would have been a nice time for that to burn head but it didn't. So we've got to get it. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad because I was kind of okay trading a troll for the ogre because the ogre is their only strength five, but we might have to trade a um a goblin for it next turn. This is looking very hard to move forward. I'm worried that this this drive is gonna end with me desperately trying to throw someone with Ripper. So I'm like, do I come back to this side to make that possible? Because going forward here, 
it just feels like it ends badly. Like the only thing that we've got going for us going forward is we could throw the ball and chain into it and see what happens. Um, but the size that means that like moving through here confidently is going to be so hard. Ball and chain was so good at the beginning of knocking everything down. And the last bit, it has not done any knocking down. Or any hitting the right things, I mean. Feels like it's been a very gentle second half, everyone. No one is getting hurt. Except my poor troll. I think I'm going to give up the ball and chain this turn. Which I hate doing, but um, we're just at that point. Something has to be given up. And I think it has to be the ball and chain. Goodness, that would have been very bad. I'd really love to actually got you even further that way, but we can't. We just got to do that with someone else. Big few on that one. Um. Do we come here? So at least like if you want to the ball and chain now, like you've actually have to think about bringing assists for it. Which you probably don't want to do really. You might just red dice it because you've got block there, but... Um... Alright. And I think we try to send one through. No, we are on this. I can click more together. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It does. It's nice. Uh, could get served if I stay there. It's another one GFI. Well, that's the thing, space. Like, Ripper throwing edgy 4 is, is definitely, like... It's got a chance, right? If it comes to that, it's got a chance. It's better than nothing. Especially when the IG4 has movement 7 as well, so like, the scattered is not such a scary thing. We're fighting for it. We are fighting for it. You never get an easy game with um, goblins, but we are fighting for it. I mean, the other thing is, like, if we don't score, but we don't leave a score on for them, you never know. We can win the overtime coin toss and go for a one turn or something. I think overtime's not going to favour us in general because we're running out of players. But um, it's something. Their mighty bow has done absolutely nothing this half, and I'm so grateful for it. cheeky power without tackle. And now do you take the red dice? Did they know that was a red dice? Did they think that was going to be a one dice? Did they miscalculate the strength of the fanatic? Okay, so we've got how many turns? Um Three more turns. I would love to be able to blitz so much here, but they've got a size there everywhere. I think I actually want to try and blitz this and free up, free up Ripper to move forward. I think that's the play I want.
Everything's so bloody scary. I might as well do the bits with Ripper and move him forward. That way at least I can do that first. Do I base here? I mean, in theory it lets you hit me back, right? But you are strength two and this is strength six, so... But on the other hand, maybe it's better just to make another safe. Make another safe square for ourselves. Which we can do again. You gonna come with us, troll? Nice. Okay. Now we can swing the fanatic around. See if it wants to do anything. Hey, finally got one. Fanatic almost certainly dies to the uh, ogre this turn, but whatever. Um, that's on tackle, so we leave that till last. to get. At least it wasn't an arm break, but yeah, that would have been pretty nice to get um, back there, so you have to think about it. And now they do get that hit for free. <laughs> hey, Chef Bees! You catch us at the tail end of a very intense game. Round two of Challenger's Cup, playing with um, goblins. We have the ball, we have it at one all, but we are finding it very, very hard to move forwards. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I was hoping they'd at least use the attack on my there, but they didn't. So I guess they're going to hit this one again. Okay, it's one more down. Yeah, that was the, the greedier play, but it was probably the right play for them, unfortunately for us. Gives them more flexibility. If you think I won't try a crazy fight to get this goblin the ball next turn, you might be wrong. <laughs> you really might, you know. Oh, it does it on a one dice as well. Oh well, thanks friend. Thank you for, for your service. Making it to turn 15, not bad. That's nice. Doesn't reroll it. Okay. I see two paths here. One is rip a bits here, run up and try to make a cage. Other one is try to get the ball to you. Probably it's not safe enough over there. Humans are fast enough to deal with it. So I think it's ripper here. Use grab because that counts as a sidestep. Okay. Knockdown would have been much better, but we got what we got. Um. I don't know if we can advance this ball already. We might have to sit back and give ourselves the troll throw play as the last option. Because with a the knockdown there we had some options. So with a knockdown um, I think we could have made like some sort of cage. Without it, the only real option is a sideline cage. We haven't got a size step. They have got edgy four. I don't think it's good enough. Um, so I think we're better off to say This at least is covered. This is a guaranteed scoring threat we're going to have. Even if it requires some stupid dice to get to it. It's there. Try to make that one an extra bonus option. Try to get this out. See if it wants to... Strength. If this can go over here, 
Then we can maybe send this one forward as well. We can't. Okay. Well, we still got a reroll. And we've got one scoring threat. And potentially the throw teammate play. It's not where I want to be. It's not where I want to be. Going in for the other ball. Sideline cage with the diving tackle. The problem is the diving tackle can only cover from one side. That diving tackle at the front. I don't know, you could even red dice um, Ripper. If Ripper had Sanfer, maybe. But this looks like they're going to go in for the ball. Which I don't like. I think it's probably the right play for them. I don't like it for me. <laughs> and they've given themselves the win condition down here as well. That was a tough one in nine. That one in nine definitely weakened our position. This troll does have um, break tackle, so this troll can throw teammate in all situations. Okay, got in, that's bad. Pushes is good. More pushes. We're still alive, and we've still got a scoring threat up here. We have a couple of different ways to try and do things. Not saying that either of them is a good chance, but they're away. Problem is, who wakes you up? Um. So, just roll some twos and then roll a five plus. Um. A three plus to get you moving. Problem is they've got their tackle really well positioned, isn't it? That is the real problem. If we could do that, the problem is we haven't got anyone to wake you up. We haven't got the um it's like a four plus to start it off. For the stupid. If I run you to there, do one dodge down this way, bunch of dodges down that way. Could even take this block first. Okay. Finally, Ripper. One GFI makes it a four plus pass. So two, four, three. Let's do the dodge first and see if we get away with that tackle we do. So now it's either a five, three or a two, four, three, which I'm pretty sure is better. Although that was a five. Four. Get in, goblins. Oh my God. Oh my. Actual God. I can't believe that worked. Goblins! Oh my God. Oh my God. Goblins, 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 goblins. trembling guys I can't I can't um they said they can't one turn whether or not that's true I don't know there's no riot because they've got the stadium that bans riots oh 
holy cow. I can't believe that just worked. Uh, do we do a better one turn setup than this, actually, just in case? Um, get in. I mean, they have got this one, who's movement eight. And they have now got a goblin to push around. Maybe we should do something. Do we have 11? We don't. Got 10. Um. We could do like that. And that. Gets pretty hard to get the pushes. And then. Because then you've got to move uh, a strength six player around. I don't know. It might be better just to backline. But I'm doing this now. Oh. Can't do that, can I? Oh my god, they could still one turn. They've got the speed to do it. I think this is hard because of the strength of these guys, but they have got a bunch of guard. Have got all their players back. We don't have the third troll. Oh my actual god. Yeah. Um, oh, don't make it. I'll be gutted. <laughs> I'll be gutted if they make it one turn now. I don't know if this is the first formation I could have done. It's the one I came up with. good news about doing this close one is that if we get um, a blitz we might actually be able to just kill it whereas if we did the back line we couldn't oh you guys it's been intense they did say they can't one turn Which definitely doesn't mean they don't have the players to. They definitely have the players that can. Hoping it means they don't... Can't work it out easily. Oh my goodness. Thanks for all the cheering, guys. <laughs> Goblins are just unstoppable. Goblins are just unstoppable. Until they're not. <laughs> Until they're just, just stopped. I really did not think that one was going to happen. I really felt like that was um, that was gone. That one. I think they. I think they made a mistake thinking I wouldn't try and use that scoring threat. I think that's the one thing that I really do think they made a mistake on was that player that I ran up there. I did not do that for no reason, and I think they should have taken it more seriously. Um, and I'm glad they didn't, because yeah, that gave us an out. But I felt like they defended most of that drive really well. And frankly, we were really lucky on that drive because they hit us so many times with the um, with the mighty blow and they did not get many removals that, that half at all. Um, I guess they were lucky in the first half because both of the sort of... Well, because they, um, they got rid of the second dirty player with um, not even mighty blow and, um, and there's the bits. So hopefully we can just put this to bed. Um... Hopefully. 
I feel like we can also make a mess for ourselves if we're not careful. Let's put diving tackle there. And... I want to build it up, aren't we? Actually, no, I don't want it back. Good. Oh, that's dodge. Oh well. It's okay. It's not as good as I thought it was. Um I think we can still follow it up. We're just taking up players that they now need to hit us with that are not doing this. Now the tricky thing here is I could send one of my Agi 4 to get underneath it. Um but like they're too they're so valuable and the um the apple has already been used. I think it's maybe not worth it. Um I think my plan was to knock this one and then start shoving this um, side step along. So I think um, parking in front of this now is the way to go. Well, let's just stop for a second and give ourselves the moment to think. Is it even worth putting one into that gap? Because then where are you side stepping to? That's movement seven. You could push in theory all the way along the line if you really worked at it, but I think that's going to be asking a fair bit from someone who said they didn't feel very confident on one turns. So I think we go with that, and like maybe that, and that, and we hope it's good enough. Okay, not the dream scatter because we wanted it next to the diving tackle, but. Um, thanks for the follows, that is, and Mighty Sunk, and loads of people who followed during the game. Um, the thing is, they still need to, yeah, they, they can't really fit here because they need to fit this forward. They can take that block, so I don't know if they're just mapping it out for themselves. Oh gosh, I hope I haven't done something stupid that ends up making it easier. I want to say thanks to the game in case it does end, but I, it's just, yeah, I don't want to say anything if it could. That's an option. Is a six plus though. That goes past diving tackle. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Oh, the four minute rebel turns make this so much more agonizing. <laughs> Six plus dodge. Fails. Last reroll. Well, not last reroll. Re reroll for this turn. Does not get that. <gasps> you guys, we're taking goblins to round three. <laughs> taking goblins to round three of challenges cup that is the last 16 we started with 64 teams in this competition there are 16 left and one of them will be goblins well there's more than 16 left. The, other, the, the round isn't finished yet but there will be goblins <gasps> i'm so happy guys you can't see the smile on my face oh it's a great winnings roll as well um oh and a level for a troll Oh my gosh. I'm so, guys, because like, this has not like been the easiest version of things for the goblins either, because um, in both of these games, we've been put on defense first. Goblins want to be on offense first, for sure, because you want to go on offense first and just try to wreak havoc. Um, and we've had to do defense first both times, and both times we've managed to get them to score early um, using that deep defense, so. Um, I can't believe it. Honestly, can't believe it. Ash and Shade, thank you so much for the Prime subscription. Um, I'm so happy. I honestly, like, 
I took Govins this season because I was like, I did a really like serious two seasons with the Wood Elves. This was the just mess around with Goblins season. And I am messing around, but it's like actually like working. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, I was not expecting to go this far. Um, the armor was probably about normal, I'm not sure. Um, dodges were tiny, tiny bit on the low side, but basically normal. The, the KO failures were huge. The KOs that didn't come back in the second half were really, really huge. And they even did a really good job forcing us to score on turn seven. So they had two extra goes at those and they still didn't come back. That was really lucky for us. Um, very, very lucky. I think overall, we probably were very lucky. You have to be lucky with goblins, I think. As soon as you get a bit unlucky with goblins, you just get snowboard. Um, dodges were normal for us too. I don't think the dice were crazy. There's nothing that really stands out to me as like crazy here. Like that looks a bit low, but it's not really because we did some four plus. That failed. How did the um, box work out? So yeah, we gave up 30 and we did 29. I think they were a bit unlucky not to get more injuries in the second half for sure. Look how much of the ball we had. Absolute craziness. Thank you for the follow, Jim Holden. Has that been confirmed? <gasps> we can roll a level. Exciting. I honestly, I cannot believe we've done this. Oh, that's not a team. It's a different team. Where are we? Ah, don't click on it again. That's halflings. Here we are. Could we get a double? A double on a troll would be amazing. If not, I guess this is Juggernaut because it's a break tackle one. That's not a devil. I think it's Juggernaut because we've given it break tackle. I think that's a natural combination. But I'll probably wait to see who my opponent is just in case it makes me think differently. Um, double would have been really nice at this point. But what can you do? Juggernaut has some use. The thing is, like, in these games, I'm having to use, not having to use, I'm getting to use Ripper all the time. And so Ripper's doing a lot of the blitzing, and so Juggernaut doesn't feel that good. Um, I could just do more guard. Um, I don't think a sand firm makes sense because we've gone, because we've gone the break tackle route. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see. Um, we'll wait and see who the opponent is, I think, before deciding that one. Um, team is otherwise still intact. We've got 100,000 in the bank, which is great because... Um, we can spend that in inducements if we want to. Um, yeah. A Requiem for Meiji rolls on. What a season. Unreal, guys. Absolutely unreal. Um, I um, want to say thank you to everyone who followed it because I didn't get to say hello to everyone as they're coming in. So let me do a quick read of everyone who's followed while that game was on. Jira Rugby and Neem Sabu and uh, Crookbit. Rock Gabrian and Crusader and Tasteless and Deaders and Mighty Zonk and Matt Caruno and Jim Holden. Sorry for not saying hello and welcome to the stream as I was going. So hi, welcome to the stream everybody. Um and thank you again to Ash and Shade as well for that prime sub. I think that's gonna be me done um for my stream today. Um we had um a loss with the vampires in CCL, but that didn't really matter. It's a new season, we're just mucking around with the vampires. Um, we got the win that mattered. Um, and I guess in a week's time or so, we'll have to do this all again. We'll have to do another Goblin game in Challenges Cup, which is just bonkers. Cannot believe that's happening. Um, if you are a fan of stunty teams doing a nonsense on people, let me tell you, that there is a second stunty team in Challengers Cup doing some nonsenses this season. Um, that one round one, in theory, um, oh, is that not your name, Chris or Hunter? I'm confused. In theory, um, 
we could meet in a semi-final if we win enough more games. But Crystal Hunter is playing, I think, in... When are you playing, Crystal? What time do you play? I feel like it's maybe 7. And 19 UTC, I'm not sure. If I remember right, it's today. Um, but yeah. Do, if you are... 19 UTC, great. Guys, if you've been watching this and you enjoyed... Um, watching goblins mess around and upset all the predictions in uh, Challenges Cup. Go check out Crystal Hunter's game at um, 19 UTC or 20 UTC against the terrible Tyrannos. Who's that? Oh, I think they've got lizards. I think that's quite, that sounds like quite a good matchup for Ogres lizards because you've got um the strength advantage so like the saurus aren't as aren't as scary to ogres as they are to most teams and there's some missing saurus here one two three four five down one saurus those are pretty good skinks i don't know crystal i think you've got a ch i think you've definitely got some chance here there is a lot of dodge that's an amazing saurus that's like a diy um Slivly. I guess it hasn't got the stand firm like Slivly, but yeah. God, that's an amazing Saurus. Those are both amazing Saurus. Well, good luck, Crystal. If you win, then we're both in 16, and then it would be... Two more games? Three more games before we can meet in the semi-final? I don't know. Anyway... Um, I'm done, guys. Um, it's been such a fun stream because we won with the Goblin Skin. This is my favourite football right now. Um, you know, CCL, I had to do lots of... Um, had to. I did lots of what else last season. And it was fine. We qualified. Um, but the Goblins are where my heart is right now. They're more fun. They make you work really hard. But they're fun. Um, I I won't be able to watch live, unfortunately, Crystal, because I've actually got some friends coming over tonight. Um, but I will watch. I will watch back, and I will cheer for you. Um, is there any more? Oh, there is. Oh, let me send you over right away then. Um, I'm gonna raid you over right away to a um, Rebel playoff game. Um, that I think is still ongoing. It looks like it is, because uh, it looks like Popsicle is still streaming um I'm gonna send you over to pop school who's streaming a rebel playoff game featuring another big o team uh, featuring some wood elves who the top team in big o actually so um, <laughs> i hope that will be a fun game for you guys to join 19 UTC for crystal hunters uh game do check that out guys do go and support crystal hunter i'm sad i won't be able to watch it live but i will be watching back and cheering for you crystal so good luck and um guys thank you so much i don't know when i'm next going to stream um there's a chance I'll, I'll get a stream maybe on tuesday if not you probably won't get a stream from me for um at least until next weekend and maybe even longer because i'm going to be up away from home for a bit um so yeah this might be my last stream for a little bit but i will keep everyone posted on my discord about my next rounds game and also um my ccl chalice game um when i know what's happening with that um if i can't stream them someone will be streaming them so i will if you want to know check out the discord um yeah all right guys see you soon bye